Okay, just a quick look at how it comes in the box. Not to be a full unboxing by any means. I know how boring that gets. So hang in there with me. Here is the pistol. In blue plastic. That's what we want to see. And it is quite gorgeous. We'll take a closer look at that, of course, in due time. It comes with three magazines. So one in the pistol and there's two more here in their little bags these are very specially coated magazines they have also been uh, increased uh, sand resistance and so forth uh, from Beretta so and since the range where I shoot at is mostly sand the increased sand resistance will be appreciated so there is the gun here are the two magazines and another bag. I'll go ahead and take them out because I'm going to want to use them as soon as possible. Okay. And of course we get a gun lock and the original mainspring because they put the D spring in this gun as part of the tuning. So this gun has had the extra tuning done for the action at Wilson Combat. So it does have the incredibly smooth double action and single action. This double action is quite phenomenal. On par, at the very least, on par with the very best I have felt. So there it is coming out of the box. All right then, let's see how she shoots. I'm going to start out simple, just 10 yards from the target, and I'm going to start out double action. When you got a gun with a sweet double action like this, below 7 pounds, you start out double action. All right, so let me just get a feel for where it likes to be held. Okay. Looks like it likes a center hold. Very sweet trigger. Beautiful sight picture. Kudos to uh, Wilson Combat on this gun. Wow. Good stuff here. This is a smooth and beautiful, beautiful feeling handgun to shoot. Okay, let's take a look at just the basic specs and numbers on the gun. It is, of course, a 15 round capacity. It comes with three magazines, each hold 15 rounds. We can do better than that on the aftermarket as far as capacity. You can get them 17, 18, 20, um, but you can't necessarily do better than the quality of these magazines. They are special sand resistant material um, and they are very, very nice. Barrel length of the gun is 4.7 inches. They've shortened it just a little bit and mostly for aesthetic purposes. Overall length of the gun is 8 and a quarter inches. That's 8.25. That gives us a sight radius of 6.5 inches, which is a nice long sight radius for a handgun. The pistol is 5.5 inches tall. That is a pretty standard height for a full-size duty gun. 
and it's 1.5 inches wide, and that includes all of the controls at the widest part. The weight with an empty magazine is 36 ounces. All right, so what are some of the things that make this gun special? Why would you pay significantly more, basically double the price, of a Beretta 92? If you're a name collector, then you'll maybe justify that just because it is a Wilson Combat and it has the Wilson Combat markings on it. But if you expect something in return for those markings, then let's talk about what those things are. So first of all, Bill Wilson basically designed this gun the way he wanted it. And he is a Beretta 92 aficionado and a fan of the gun. So he built what he likes to shoot. And that's always a good thing if you like all those same things. And I think most of us do. First thing is you've got the Brigadier slide. That gives you a lot of extra thickness and weight in the slide. And you can really see that right up in here. The other thing they've done with this Brigadier slide is they've really done a good job of dehorning most of the rough edges. So all of the sharp parts and right angles are gone and it is pretty well dehorned as are the controls that are on it. The slide to frame fit feels to me like basically <laughs> a custom 1911. It is completely tight. I can't get any kind of wiggle or movement on it at all. It is an extremely good slide to frame fit. It is a stainless steel barrel. It's got a recessed crown. That crown is very nice. It's a square cut crown rather than conical shaped crown. Magazine release on this gun is oversized and it is solid steel and it's beautifully checkered. It's got great texture and it does make a difference. It is really nice. All of the controls on this gun are steel. All of the parts in the gun are steel and that is a big plus. So your decocking levers, your slide stop, your takedown lever, the trigger is steel, not polymer as has sometimes been the case with the 92. Everything inside is steel. There are no plastic or polymer parts in this gun. Closest thing to that would be the G10 grips. It has the skeletonized Elite 2 hammer. You can see that is very skeletonized and it's a nice hammer, nice and light. Makes it fast. And as I had previously mentioned, they did install the D hammer spring, but they give you the regular spring just in case you want to swap it back for some strange reason. How many times have we seen a gun built like, you know, exquisitely built, everything was thought of and they put crappy sights on it? <laughs> How many times have we seen that? Come on, show of hands. Right. Well, they didn't do that here. These are a really nice set of combat slash competition sights, and I think probably more the latter but it's got that blacked out U-notch Wilson sight. Wilson calls it the battle sight. It is steel, of course, and it is well equipped to run the slide from the front edge of it if you needed to. It's very square and you've got some good meat there to grab a hold of. Out front, you've got a Trigicon tritium. Nice white circle around that tritium insert in the center. It is in a dovetail, so it can be adjusted for windage and easily changed. And the rear sight also can be adjusted for windage. And as I said, everything is steel. Including the guide rod. And it is a fluted guide rod. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose for the fluting is, but it does look nice. <laughs> I guess maybe it helps uh, transport lubrication. Um, but I doubt that that's really the reason. So I don't know. I got I have to com I have to plead ignorance on that. But it is a fluted solid steel guide rod. The grips are G10, as I said. They are made by VZ Grips, I believe, and it is dirty olive is the color, <laughs> dirty olive. Um, so <laughs> uh, I'm not sure Popeye knows about that, but hey. And they are very beautiful. They set the gun off nice. It's If I had to tick boxes in an option sheet, you know, to order this thing, Dirty Olive is probably not the box I would check. 
for grips. But when you get it and you look at it and you see them, you think, well, that, that works. Works very nicely. So I don't think I would do it any different for this particular gun. Good choice. This is the G configuration, meaning the ambidextrous decocker is a decocker only. There is no safety. There is no manual safety on the exterior of the pistol. So what that does is when you decock the gun, it bounces right back. So it's spring-loaded and it does not stay down for safety. Now the big benefit to that is if you're running the slide and you accidentally do that to the lever, which would be very easy to do, you can see where the serrations are, you grab it like this, you know, very easy to do that while you're running the slide. Well, the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to drop the hammer, but it's going to spring right back. So you've got a double action pull for your first shot, which by the way, is just about the best in the business that I've felt in a really long time and about the best I've measured. Checkering is excellent on the front strap and on the rear strap of the gun. Very, very nice. It does have that lanyard ring that is there more, I think, as a traditional nod than something that anybody thinks they need, but it's there, doesn't bother me, and it keeps a good profile with the magazine base plate. It says right there, Brigadier Tactical, and so it does have a full mounting rail on the front. Picatinny with two grooves for lights, lasers, and whatever else you might need to hang off the front of this gun. The weight of the Brigadier slide really helps with the recoil, makes it kind of a nice smooth rolling action rather than that sharp thump that you get with some of the lighter slides banging back. But this thing is pretty incredible and I don't want to start out double action again because it's so smooth. Nice, very, very, very nice shooter. Got a little bit of one hand. Great reset on this trigger. Man, that front sight is so visible. Me likes so far, me really likes. One thing too to point out on this gun, there are two horizontal grooves in the Picatinny rail out front as opposed to one on the earlier editions of this model. So I don't know when they changed that. Okay, so yesterday I was talking to a good friend of mine, Dale Annis, who is a fine pistol maker, Annis Arms. Look that up if you want a amazing 1911. But anyway, uh, I was talking to him about this and showing him this gun and he said, oh, I love the fluted guide rail. And I said, yeah, why did they do that? Why did they, you know, why, what's the actual practical purpose of a fluted guide rail? And he said, it's to help clear out dirt, you know, so if you get dirt up in your recoil spring and guide rod and, and all that, uh, it's a way to help that dirt get ejected out of the pistol. So, okay, now we know. Okay, so after 50 rounds, I like it. I like it a bunch. Uh, it is cold out. It's fixing to rain and I brought my new dog out to the range and he is not enjoying the noise. So with all those things taken into consideration, I'm probably going to stop at 50 today, come back out here real soon and do some more work.
Okay, you guys have to see this. This is uh, 6 pounds, 14 ounces, and it is not the lightest. This That is the double action on this pistol. Here we go. Double action. 6 pounds, 12 ounces. Try it again, you don't believe me. Less than 7 pounds on the double action. Incredible. Let's take a look, just for fun, at the single action. Three pounds, ten ounces. Yep. Boy, that makes me want to really get this thing out and shoot it. That is the specially tuned action from the folks at Wilson Combat. As Gladys Knight says, keep on keeping on. So here I am back at it with the Beretta Wilson Combat 92G. And I'm gonna start out double action again because this double action is extremely sweet. Got a steel target down range about uh, 11 yards away. Let's see what we can do. We'll just take a few warm ups here of the body of it. Nice. Okay, so this target has the hostage flapper bad guy thing, which I've painted pink. Target provided by Tactical AR-500 Targets. Uh-oh. So I have to confess that I've never been a Beretta guy. You know, I think you either were in the army and became a Beretta guy that way or or not <laughs> and, and not for me. So I was really never a Beretta guy. In fact, I have tongue in cheek sort of made fun of them over the years. But I got to tell you, <laughs> this particular Beretta 92G from Wilson Combat is pretty amazing. I love this double action. It is incredible. Again, under seven pounds consistently on this double action and very, very smooth. Uh, I really enjoy shooting at double action. Incredible gun. It is very well balanced. It's got a lot of weight. At 36 ounces, it really helps to mitigate 
you know, any recoil and it stays very flat. Just a great shooter, very, very smooth. I've talked about the trigger. I will continue to talk about the trigger because it's fantastic and I kind of love it. So beautiful. The grip is very nice. This G10 is just aggressive enough, but not so much that it uh, causes you discomfort. The checkering on the front and back straps is very good. It's just a nice balanced, well, well designed handgun. Definitely likes a center hold. Come on. All right, where am I going? High? The rear notch is nice. It's a U notch, blacked out. Uh, it's got serrations to help prevent glare. But there's sort of a there's sort of an inner cut. I'm trying to show you a close up of that. There's sort of an inner cut to the sight, and every once in a while, depending on how the light is hitting it, kind of confuses me as to where I am in the notch. So I'm struggling a little bit, and you can see that downrange um, with some of those low shots. Okay, so I got one of those little spinning targets that I couldn't resist picking up at Cabela's. Gotta love impulse buys, right? It is about 12 yards, maybe 13 yards down range. Let me see how many times I can hit it. It's also in very, very soft dirt in that berm, so. It may not stay up much. Okay, one for one. Thank you, good night. Knock the sticker right off. That's how bad I am. Hmm. Let me see if I can hit the smaller one up top while well, it's still standing enough to do so. All right, I knocked the sticker off of it. I guess I hit it. <laughs> I'm claiming it is a hit. Go for the top one again. Even though I can barely see it now. Okay. Yeah, this is an accurate pistol though, and as is usually the case for me, the gun is, is one that makes me look decent because it shoots so well. All right, well, I think we've done all we can do to that target. All right, let's take a look at this trigger action, and this has had the extra tuning by the good folks at Wilson Combat. So this is a specially tuned trigger. Here's the double action. It's very smooth. It's pretty long, but it's not too bad. I'm pretty satisfied with where my finger falls on this trigger in fully extended position. And that double action pull is very smooth. I like this a lot. The reset, right there, that's pretty short. A little bit of sponge in it. Not unusual for a hammer gun. And then 
you know you're at the wall. You definitely know you're at the wall when you get there. And then it is light and crisp. Under four pounds. So that reset one more time. Right there. And a little bit of take up and a beautiful break. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up with about 300 rounds initially put through this. So this might be one of my most prolific first hundreds yet, but this gun is just so enjoyable to shoot. I like it a lot, and it's funny because this is not a gun that was on my radar. Um, you know, my crack dealer slash local gun store guy <laughs> texted me and said, hey, I got this, are you interested? Um, I'm glad he did. And um, I'm glad I got it. This is one heck of a nice gun. If you have an opportunity to pick up the Beretta Wilson Combat 92G Brigadier, you can't go wrong. This is a fantastic handgun. And they have a brand new one coming out. It's just been released. The Beretta Wilson Combat 92G Centurion. Almost exactly the same gun, but with a shorter barrel, shorter slide, a little bit lighter slide, not as thick, um, a little bit different cosmetics, but kind of the same gun in the shorter commander model, if you will. So you're going to be seeing that one here on this channel too in the very near future. So if you don't subscribe, click the subscribe button so you can come back and see that one. All right, so I've got all my mags loaded up. Let's empty them and then get on our way. Wherever you put that front sight, that's your hit. This thing is a shooter. I think I got my groove going now. That's what I had to do. I had to take the, the uh, camera off the target because that was 15 for 15. Good stuff.